So you're trying to figure out how to stop being life's punching bag all the time and learn how to remain in integrity no matter what life is throwing you away because something is always coming. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make that happen. My name is Bryce and welcome to Mindful Gains. And if you want tips and suggestions on how to dive deeper into your personal development, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and leave me a comment letting me know how you remain in integrity when life throws you them curveballs. All right, let's get into it. First, let's establish what integrity is. All right. Now, Google's definition is integrity is the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles. Now, the key word there is quality the quality of our honesty and the quality of our morals. Okay. Now, I'm talking about more in a, uh, an emotional realm here. Okay. So I'm speaking more to the quality of your character. Now, a lot of us allow the quality of our character to be lessened and diminished depending on how others are treating us or how they're mistreating us. All right. So one way to not let the quality of our character be lessened or diminished by others is to stop letting them have power over us. Now, how do you do that? One way we can learn to remain in integrity and stop letting people have so much power over us and letting the quality of our character be dropped down is to stop taking things personally. All right. This is huge. Okay. Now in the book, The Four Agreements, there's a great chapter on there on how to stop taking things personally. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description for that book. It's phenomenal. It explains that when we take things personally, pretty much we make any and everything about us. So you're allowing someone to have power over you by believing everything they're saying about you. All right. And everything they say about you is not fact. So don't believe it because that's when you're giving it life. All right. You're making it fact by believing what people are saying about you. And in turn, that's allowing someone to have power over you. That's a huge way that we diminish our character and allow ourselves to be pulled out of our integrity. Know that somebody's opinion of you is simply that it's just their opinion. Okay. And that should have no bearing on how you feel about yourself, how you see yourself. Stop letting people pull you away from who you are and how you feel about who you are. Okay. Stop giving them that power. All right. And stop letting people pull you out of your integrity. Now, this happens on an unconscious level, which means people don't even know they're doing it to you. All right. So it's up to you to start recognizing when it's happening, recognize when people are projecting their views onto you, projecting how they operate onto you, all right? Because they're unaware of it. They don't even know, all right? So learn to stop taking things personally, and this can be very helpful. Another way we can learn how to remain in our integrity is with intentional boundary setting, all right? Now I'm talking about personal and emotional boundaries, okay? Now, a lot of us will let people treat us any kind of way Sometimes it's because it's because we don't know any better yet. We want to feel like we're a part of something. You know, we don't want to be missing out on things. So pretty much allow people to treat you any kind of way just because you're in fear of missing out. You're not being true to yourself. That fear of missing out will have you in all kinds of nonsense. It'll have you uh, not in alignment with yourself because you're trying to keep up with the next person. OK, we just want to be accepted and feel like we're a part of something bigger than ourselves. And we'll allow ourselves to be pulled in any direction, even if it's not in alignment with who we are. So we need to really start recognizing when that happens. Now, other times it's because we haven't spoken our truth enough, or we haven't even recognized what our truth is to even be able to speak it. We have to learn how to be true to ourselves. So we have to really learn to be intentional with our boundary setting and stop letting uh, the opinions and the beliefs of others have such an effect on us. Okay. 
That's pulling you out of your integrity when you allow somebody to do that. Learn how to set solid, intentional boundaries. Now, say you have that friend who, you know, has a tendency to speak hella reckless. You know what I mean? We all know these people. I was this person at one point. Okay. And they can look at it like, oh, you're just being too sensitive or I'm just joking around with you. All right. Stop taking everything, you know, to heart. All right. Now, if that's truly bothering you, if their behavior is truly bothering you, it's up to you to let it be known. It's up to you to provide that person the opportunity to correct the behavior. All right. Now, once you've provided them that opportunity, they have a choice to make. They can honor your boundary. They may choose not to. All right. Now, if they choose not to honor the boundary, then it's up to you to be secure enough within yourself to walk away or make whatever adjustment it is you need to make within that friendship or that family dynamic or whatever it may be. You've established the boundary. Now it's up to you to, to, to enforce it. And a lot of us have trouble doing that for fear of missing out, for fear of loss of love, loss of care, whatever it may be, maybe on a deeper level. Now it's up to you to be able to either walk away or create distance or whatever it is you need to do because you've established a boundary and it's not being honored. So you got to you got to move forward or you're just going to be drained. All right. All right. Now, if you're finding value out of this video already, you know, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so that, you know, when I drop more content like this. All right. Let's get back to it. Of course, all these tips um, are going to require practice and patience with yourself. Um, but this last tip is going to require a certain level of patience with other people. Now, this last tip on how to remain in integrity is to remember that everybody is going through something, okay? Everybody is in their story. Everybody is on their journey. So we have to be mindful of that because we can tend to get wrapped up in our own story so much that we overlook what the next person is going through. Remember to give people the same patience and give them the same grace that you would want them to give you. We all know the saying, you know, treat people how you would want to be treated. No, treat people how they want to be treated. Okay, learn to give them that patience and give them that grace. Applying all these tips that I'm giving you is going to help you in remaining in integrity at all times because you're remaining true to yourself. You're maintaining a high level of character. Okay, you're not letting your character be brought down to some BS level because you're staying true to yourself. All right. You're not going to be so easily pulled away from who you are. We don't want to let what somebody says to us or what somebody projects onto us um, knock us off our square. All right. We want to remain in our integrity. Okay. Hopefully this video provided you with some value. Um, and if it did, be sure to check out some of my other videos. I think you'll enjoy them. All right. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, uh, leave some comments below. All right. And I'm out.